everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about what is in or should be in your figure skating bag. So first of all, you need a bag because you can't have a figure skating bag if you don't have a bag. Just get a bag. The second thing you are going to need to have a figure skating bag is your skates. I have the Rydell Emerald skates. They are not recreational skates. They are for beginner to intermediate skaters. I have this cute little gem here that's obviously the color of emeralds since they are emerald skates. The third thing you're gonna need are guards. These wonderful little rubber thingies. You can get a lots of different kinds of these. You can mismatch the colors. I chose these two colors of blue because blue is obviously my favorite. These are just gonna protect your blades from getting chipped as you walk even on the rubber. The rubber is going to protect your skates from, you know, the ground as opposed to walking on concrete, but it's going to protect them from getting chipped and also from getting dull faster. So these are definitely a must have or else you're gonna have to like walk on your toe picks the whole time, which is not fun. Now getting into what's actually in my bag. So first of all, you're gonna need a water bottle. It is a sport, you are exercising, you need to be drinking water. And if you don't bring a water bottle with you, even if you're just going on an hour session, that is a long time to go without water. So have a water bottle. Next, you need towels. I have two of them. I don't really know why. Just one designated for each blade. You, when you get off the ice, your blades are going to be wet. That is a given. There's gonna be ice on your blades and you need to wipe that off. I usually get the ice off of my blade before I wipe this so that this stays as dry as possible. You have to clean up your skates because you don't want your blades rusting and water is just not good for leather. So you need to clean up your blades with these. Another part of cleaning up your blades is after you've wiped them off, there might still be just a little bit of water residue on just various places on your skates. So you need to put soakers on your blades. The next thing you might need or might not, depending on how much you care about the leather on your skates, are these. They're little skate covers that actually go on top, like over your boot. So, I'm not gonna put it on because it's painfully difficult to do, but they're gonna protect it from getting scuffed, you know, um, if you have a collision with another skater, you know, getting torn or whatever. Obviously, you can tell that I do not really wear them all that often because they're scuffed, but it's okay. I'm not competing, so it's not terribly important. Next, especially if you go to an outdoor rink, you are gonna want leg warmers. This is totally a girl thing, but you're gonna want leg warmers to put on your legs because you will be freezing. And especially since you're wearing leggings, not jeans, don't ever wear jeans when you're skating. But when you're wearing leggings, these are gonna be so helpful to you because they're typically thinner than other pants that you're gonna be wearing. So these will save your life. One of the most basic things you're gonna want in your bag are gloves. I have two pairs because I typically use this pair outside of skating and sometimes I forget to put this back in the bag. So I show up at the rink and oh no, I don't have gloves and it might be freezing that day. So I have an extra pair, even though they say selfie and they're not good and are not water resistant, they're still gloves. So have an extra pair of gloves if you feel the need to do that unless you have like a designated pair for your bag, but gloves are definitely a must have. Next, you're gonna want an extra pair of knee-high socks. This has never happened to me, but I know sometimes your socks can tear just, you know, if you take them off and something gets snagged. And so having an extra pair in your bag is gonna be really helpful to you just in case something happens. There's a lot of backups going on here in your bag. And one of the most important backups is gonna be your laces. You never know when you're gonna snap your laces. I am guilty, I don't actually have a pair in my bag. I need to get on that. But you never wanna, especially if you're competing, you do not wanna show up on competition day and not have laces if it breaks. That was just gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be a bad day. So have laces in your bag. This is something I keep in my skating bag and not with all my other athletic gear, just because it's a skating item. And if I feel like it, I can warm up with this at the rink, although I've never done that. This is just a spinner. I don't know if you've seen this, this is Adea. This is a great off-ice tool to use if you're practicing your spins, your balance, your turns, anything like that. So I just keep this in my skating bag so that I know exactly where it is when I need it. One other thing I keep in my skating bag is tissues. It is cold and we all know that we get the fake sniffles when we get on the ice. So you're gonna need tissues or else you're just gonna be this slobbery mess and it's just gonna be gross. So tissues are amazing. And I think the last and most important thing that you can have in your skating bag is your chapstick. Chapstick will save your life because 
it is dry, it is cold, and you're gonna need chapstick because chapstick is life. It's just, it's the best thing. I think it's even more important than your skates or even your bag, you know, chapstick, just have chapstick in your bag. So those are just a list of lots of little things, lots of big things that you need to have in your figure skating bag and things that are in my figure skating bag. That is all I have for today's video. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you would like to and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.